Okay, today I'm going to do something fairly simple, and that's to UV map a log and export it as a collada uh, and then import it into Second Life. Uh, Second Life doesn't require in the scene uh, the lamp or the or the camera so we're going to get rid of them first of all you want to click the A that cl cl shows cl um, selects everything and then cl click select X and then delete and then go into your object mode I mean go into your uh, create cylinder and let's bring that cylinder up a little bit I think we're going to rotate it on the at my it's going to be my X and then we're going to scale it on the Y and that's, that's just a, a cylinder and that's going to be our log Okay, now we're going to have to have two textures for the log. We're going to have to have the bark for here, for the outside, and then the end piece for here, for here, and here. Now we're going to have to UV map them. Okay, so, and that's going to take two materials. So let's go over here and bring in the two materials. Well, first of all, let's go ahead and uh, let's go into edit mode. Deselect it with the A and tools. We want to loop cut it. Now I'm going to use my mouse wheel to use about six cuts. Left mouse key and then my mouse key and then select all and that deselects them okay that's what that's good right there and then I'm gonna come over here to the uh, materials list click new and as you can see I'm using .279 in blender so there's no longer a new uh, you don't there's no way to add a, uh, a, mat, a mat, add a texture to it. So from there, you got to come over here to the checkerboard first and click new, and then come down here to open, and then go to your file wherever your textures files are. Mine. I'm going to be using bark first. There's my bark that I'm going to be using for here, for the outside. And then, and then I want to, I want another material, so I'm going to come over here to the plus button and add new material. And then come down here and click add new material here. Oh, and, and by the way, uh, where it says material one, I'm going to double click that and then name that bark. Then click on the material two and double click it and name it log end or something, whatever you want to name it. push enter and then come over here click new I mean hit new come down here to hit open same thing go to your texture files mine's going to be log in log log in open and there's my log in right there so then I come back up here and then I'll make sure I'm select bark 
Okay. Now that that's the that's the tricky part. Setting it up. Make sure you you're on bark. Bark is going to be right now if we if we do nothing else. Bark's going to be showing everywhere on here, on the ends and everywhere else. That's the reason we need to map it. Okay, so we come down here and we click our box here so we can show our face, do our faces, face select, and then we're going to select uh, where it shows both sides, see through, that's that button right there, image selection is visible, okay, and we want to select just the uh, the bark. So I'm going to click B for box cut. And then make sure my ends are not checked. Okay, and they're not. And then I want to come up here and split the screen, split area. And then come down here, current editor. We want to choose UV mapping, UV editor, UV. Uh, well, it's uh, UV image editor. Okay, and then we'll come back over here to the left side and we're going to click hit U to unmap it. And then we want the smart UV project and leave everything just basically alone and just click OK and as you can see it, it ma unmapped it right here and then you come down here to where right, right to the left of where it says new and you'll see a little picture browse image to the link to be linked and click it and you see where you've already have your bark and your logins already in there from where you put them in there so we want bark and there it is and mouse uh, scroll your mouse wheel so you can uh, do that down uh, come down a little bit and um, now we're going to select a touch a to select all and scale it and we're going to scale it up and I'll show you why here in a second. Left mouse click to select. Now we're going to come over here to the left side of the screen and click textures. And as you can see, the texture on the log appears. Now see, if we come back over here and select and scale, see how that changes on the left hand side of the screen? The smaller it is, the bigger the texture is on the log. That's not what we want. We want a pretty, that's the reason we want to scale it up to make it look fairly, fairly like a log, bark on a log. Okay, after you do that, you want to hit a sign. Come back over here to the right, hit a sign. Then click your A button to unselect it. Now we want to select this end piece right here. You cl click U for unwrap smart UV. Okay. And then the same thing come down here to browse image. We're going to do the login. Okay. Then we want to select all, click, click A, and then scale S, and then come down just a little bit. And as you can see, it puts that end piece on there. And then we're going to do the other end. No, we're going to select, we're going to hit assign. Then we're going to come over here and collect this piece here. 
unwrap it. Select all. Click S for scale. Looks good. She had a sign. And now we can go into object mode. And that pretty well much looks like a log. I mean that's just a simple log. That's not doing anything with the with the object itself. That's just a mapping a, a cylinder. That's not well I mean we could shape it all kinds of shapes, make it look a little bit more like a log by shaping it modeling it but we're not going to do that okay and then we come up here and hit file export collada and then the, if you want to import it into second life it's important that you click this button right here where it says import into sl open sim check that box and then name it Name it whatever you want to name it. Put it wherever you want to put it. Make sure you know where it's at. And then click, click export. And that's about it. And then when you import it into Second Life, it's going to show up exactly what this looks like right over here with the end caps on and your bark. Hope this helps.